Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Higurashi, When They Cry, episode 23. Which means that next week will be the final episode of this Higurashi season. Will there be more seasons to come? I have no clue. Hopefully they announce something soon, but if not, man, I hope they end this one well. I hope they end it well regardless, because it really sucked for there to be a cliffhanger, and then we have to wait who knows how long to finally see what happens next, so I hope this is a good ending. But anyways, in the last episode, we got to see Satoko finally really start to spiral down this like path of insanity, which I like to call the dark Satoko path. And we see a lot of really good examples of her kind of losing her patience and slowly losing her mind with like, for example, her going up to Rika and like tearing her studying books in half, her arguing with Rika, yelling at Rika. I believe both of them even got into like, not really a fist fight, but like a physical altercation where they were grabbing each other's hair and they threw each other into the river and ended up drowning but after this Satoko ends up being transported into this like fragmented interdimensional realm I don't know what it's called exactly but the place where Featherine was just kicking back chilling and watching all of this unfold and while talking to Featherine Featherine actually reveals to Satoko the fact that Rika has actually been looping through the same timeline over and over and over again for a hundred plus years and so satoko asks if she can sit down and like watch through these different timelines and feathering tells her like okay you can but just so you know it's gonna take a long time like i'm talking years of your life satoko agrees and so this leads me to believe that satoko might also be around like a hundred plus years old mentally just because rika looped through these timelines for hundreds of years but satoko watched all of these timelines for who knows how many years so it ends with satoko finally having this new knowledge she finally has a plan going into this next loop and we also see satoko find out that rika doesn't actually retain all of her memories from the past timelines because the horn that she used was like cracked or broken or something so i don't think she remembers who kills her but she does remember like parts of the past timelines. So clearly Satoko is going to use that to her advantage. And I'm hoping that in this episode, we get to see kind of a montage of how Satoko interfered in each of these arcs from this season. So like during the Reina arc, how did she screw with Reina? How did she screw with Mion and Shion? I wanna see what she did behind the scenes. That's what I'm looking forward to this episode. But who knows what's gonna happen next? There's only one way to find out if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like it would help me and the video out so much more than you might think so if you could take the time to do that real quick i would very much appreciate it and also consider subscribing to the channel for more weekly higurashi reactions the next week is going to be the last week but we do also have a bunch of really cool anime lined up for next season which i'll be explaining in next week's episode so stay tuned for that but anyways, with that all out of the way, let's get right into this episode. Yeah, except Satoko might. Oh no, what do you have planned here, Satoko? I'm surprised she just, like, revealed all of this to Keiichi, though. What? Wait, did Keiichi notice something? And she snaps. So is she looping every time that she snaps? I, I, wait. No, 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 because she needs to kill herself to loop, right? I think she remembers where the cards were from past timelines. So she's able to get it right this time. Oh? She's kind of lightly hinting at it. She's not quite revealing everything. But it's interesting how much she's hinting at it. So, okay. Let me think a bit more about what the heck was happening there. Because we'd see her flip the wrong card. Then she'd snap. And it'd be as if the card was never flipped. 
and she'd flip it again. So, hmm. And Keiichi was watching the whole time. So do you think that maybe Keiichi remembered like a past timeline where she got those wrong? But somehow in this timeline she got it right? Like kind of maybe deja vu? Because we know that she snapped every single time before she died. I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. My head hurts. <laughs> and we're only four minutes in. Hopefully we find out, dude. Let me know what you guys think. What the heck happened there? I have no name. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> eh, ooh, ah. Is that gonna be your name? Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> Ewa. Okay, it sounds a lot better when you put it together. <laughs> Ewa san. <gasps> Ooh! So that was it! It was Keiichi! And we noticed this in episode one! He remembered himself bashing their heads in. Dude, that makes sense. So Keiichi did remember her getting him wrong in a past timeline. Reina and Shion. Hmm? Who's she referring to? I'm not sure if that was her referring to, um, maybe Satoshi or Tepe? Who is that? Oh, that's Tepe! Oh, snap! Dang! Hey, man, he's kind of getting what he deserved. So he's remembering all these different timelines, and he probably had the closest connection to Satoko. Next to Rika, maybe? This is so fascinating, dude. So what's he gonna do to try to do things differently in this timeline? Okay, so he's, um, he's at the casino right now? Oh man, don't tell me this is the Tepe Redemption arc. We're gonna see that he wasn't really a bad guy, huh? Or maybe, are these for Satoko? Like, who knows? I guess I'll just sit back and watch. Let's see. Prove me wrong, Tepe. Maybe you're not a scumbag. So this is him coming back? Wait, what if he wasn't abusing Satoko? Because in Go, we saw her freaking out and stuff, but she also was able to loop. So maybe she lied again? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Oh my god. If that's true, I'm gonna lose my mind if that's true. And there she is, Satoko. And this is a miracle because I'm guessing in other timelines he didn't come back. But this time he did because of the memories he had. Wow, wait, wait, good guy, Tepe! What? Nani? What in the world? I never would have imagined. Dang. Actually, we did kind of think this could be the case, but I never thought it'd be true. How crazy is this, man? Dude, this is nuts. I mean, it still might be a bit too early, but I feel like I should apologize to Tepe, man. And you know, the reason why he attacked Keiichi was probably because Satoko drugged him and... Ah, oh, man. I mean, he still did abuse her when she was younger. But at least he changed his ways, man. Oh my god. Wait, what is she trying to do here? Oh! What? Let's go, Tepe! Sit him down! To my Satoko! My Satoko, dude! Oh man. Oh no! There's no way! Dude! 
Tepe was the good guy! I feel like I'm gonna cry, man. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> I thought Tepe was this terrible dude. Maybe those past timelines made him learn to appreciate this life he has now more. But I wonder where things turn sour. I don't blame her, but... Yeah, it's gonna be hard for him to get through this barrier. This is so beautiful, man. He knows he was a trash person, but he's doing his best to try to change things and be a better person in his final moments. I mean, who knows how long he actually has to live, but like, he wants to spend the rest of his life that he does have being a better person. And he said, like, he no longer wants to be a burden to anyone. He's not going to hang around the same dudes that he did before. Which I'm guessing he was talking about the guys that, like, beat him to a pulp back there. And it seems like Tepe genuinely wants to be a good person. And, uh, dude, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Satoko was clearly the one behind uh tepe i guess ending the way that he did in go well maybe that's a different timeline though maybe that's not this current timeline or not the current timeline but the the original go timeline or ah oh, man how do i explain this the timeline that we saw in the satoko arc where we saw Satoko freak out in the middle of the class and all of that. Maybe that isn't the same timeline as this one where he's coming back. No, maybe it is. I don't know, dude. <laughs> My brain is all over the place. Regardless, maybe in this Satoko timeline, he did come back. He was a good guy. And he genuinely did try to make a difference. But... My guess is that Satoko was probably pretending like he was still abusing her and she, I guess, garnered the concern of all of her friends to go and get the, were they, the CPS or whatever their name is, get them involved and then they came over and I think it was uh, the lead investigator, Detective Delicious. And Tepe, I think all three of those guys were in the room or in the home with Satoko. We know that Tepe went crazy and Detective Delicious went crazy. We don't know what happened to the detective guy, I don't think. I don't remember. But, I mean, ah, dude, what the heck could have happened there? Like, I was hoping in this episode we'd get answers. Which we did for the Satoko arc, but there's still the Rena and the Mion Shion arc. And we still didn't get all of the answers from the Satoko arc. So, like, I really don't know what to think right now. Because we don't know what happened in that home on that day. My guess was that she used the, like, Hinamizawa syndrome injection stuff. I'm guessing that she used that. But in that arc, Tepe and Detective Delicious both went crazy. And I don't think we've ever seen that before, right? Where two people had the quote-unquote curse? I think the only time we've seen that was during the Satoko arc, so I don't know how she could have injected both of them. But, I, dude, I don't know. Regardless, I think the best guess that I have for what happened in the Satoko arc was Satoko intentionally pretended like Tepe was still a bad person even though he was trying to do his best and trying to turn a new leaf and she ended up injecting Tepe and that's why he ambushed Keiichi like that and then I'm guessing she also injected Detective Delicious and that's why he went to the festival and shot everyone there but I don't know dude I really have no clue. Next episode's gonna be interesting. I need to look it up again. I believe there's only 24 episodes, but there might be 26. I could be wrong. I gotta go look that up. But if there are 24, like, 
I don't know, this ending might feel a bit rushed. I feel like there's going to be a lot of answers that we won't, or a lot of questions that we won't get the answer to, which might be a good thing or a bad thing, because that might mean that we could be getting another season after this, and there might not be a second season, or not a second season, but another season, so we may never find all of the answers that we're looking for. We may just have to come up with conclusions in our heads. Who knows? But anyways, my question of the day for you guys is going to be what are your thoughts on Tepe now? After seeing him try to turn a new leaf, do you think that this is a good thing? Do you think that it doesn't matter because in the past he did like abuse a child seemingly for no reason? So trying to come back and turn a new leaf, it might be a, too, a bit too late for that. And we kind of see an example of that with him like trying to shake her hand and Satoko kind of freaking out because that trauma is already in her system like it's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of effort on Tepe's part in order to I guess right his wrongs but will Satoko give him the chance to do that we have no clue man we have no clue but anyways, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you all so, so much for watching this far into the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. But with that, I'm going to head out and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.